musical group that's a little more seasoned than Snot, Spoon, dropping their 10th album, mm. Lucifer, on the sofa. Been, <laughs> been a little bit since we talked about Spoon. They, they put their music out at a pretty uh, mm. normal clip. You know, like every two years, they're usually dropping an album. Uh, let's see, when was the last Hot one? Thoughts, 2017, the last one. Hot, yeah, so the Hot Thoughts is about five years before that. Before that, they were on like a four, three-year type mm-hmm. thing so this is the biggest layoff but that's it seems covid related in terms of the rollout from what i read and uh i gotta say nice to have spoon back hot thoughts not my favorite spoon record but if you go back and listen to our review i, th- I think i really admired mm-hmm. uh brit daniels and the band taking a, a shot at you know some more electronic sound and being a little bit looser in their sound spoon is really known for being such a tight band that just like every single string every single chord is like perfectly placed and they always seem like they're kind of on the edge of like losing it but never actually lose it lucifer on the sofa is more of a return to like old school spoon it feels like for me um they're still kind of keeping with a little bit of that electric sound at times like the title track i think is very similar to some of the stuff on they want my soul from 2014 but uh i I think this is uh, a nice call back to some of their earlier stuff like ga 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 or give me fiction how did you feel about it yeah i, I liked it a lot uh just back to the basics blues rock for the most part yep. it's <laughs> sounds great you know <laughs> drums are good the guitars are good they're going hard for the most part i, I thought it was awesome uh the only time i really didn't enjoy it was at the end with astral jack and uh, astral jack i thought that song was a little too quiet for me other than that, I thought the whole whole track listing was pretty darn good. And, you know, it doesn't overstay its welcome. 38 minutes, 10 tracks, pretty quick. But uh, they're, they're just strumming the whole time, you know. It, it was quite enjoyable. I think uh, The Devil and Mr. Jones was my favorite song of the bunch. But I really liked the whole thing. Yeah, The Devil and Mr. Jones is a clear standout for me as well. But I got to say, there's a couple of moments on this that I just really, really loved. I agree. I think this is one of the strongest just like rock releases we've gotten in a long time. And obviously we always talk about how there's really not that many good rock releases at all anymore. Um, but even like satellite, you know, one of the later tracks, there's like a moment at the end, or like basically with a minute left where they just, they just like l- l- let the guitar rip and it fucking ripped dude. And I was just like, Oh, this is, this is why rock music was so popular. You get moments like this where you're just totally entranced in the music. And I got to say, Britt Daniels is really still bringing it um, with, I, I think, his songwriting, but also just his vocal performance throughout. He's able to change up his his voice and kind of like goes from like the scathing, more like rough guttural sound to like a more like toned up sound. And it all works really well. Spoon is like Derek Jeter to me, dude, where it's like they put up a solid year every time that they put they decide to put out an album. And you're, you're mm. never like, oh, Spoon, like. There's always like a band that like is more exciting, but then you look at the numbers like, oh yeah, like by far one of the best bands of their generation, just kind of under the radar. So, so what you're saying is loose from the sofa is when like old ass Derek Jeter led the American League in hits in like 2012 or whenever that was. That's what this is. Yeah, probably. <laughs> this, this is pretty high functioning, you know, for yeah. for 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 a tenth <laughs> album. Jesus Christ, like yeah. Like when we listened to like the last Foo Fighters record, you know, it was a lot fainter brace. Let's put it that way. You know, we were giving them a lot of credit for, you know, trying something, trying to become more dancey, which uh, Spoon Spoon never compromises on who they are. And I feel like even the small risks that they take always feel like uh, earned and not like super outside the box, yeah. for them, which is nice. Yeah. You know, and I'm not, again, not a huge, big, not a huge Spoon fan, obviously, but like, They've had some lineup changes. They've jumped around record labels a lot, but you wouldn't know it by listening to Loose from the Sofa. I, I think that says something. So uh, I know you said uh, Mr. Jones on the uh, with the devil or whatever. Sorry, the with devil and Mr. Track. Jones. Yes. Yes. Uh, what other tracks did you like specifically? Yeah, you said Satellite like that one. I also liked uh, The Hardest Cut, which I believe was an early yeah. single. Yeah. 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 I really like the whole thing's really good too. Yeah, I agree. I think if you like rock music, you kind of have to go check this one out and also check out our Nostalgia Best of 2022 playlist. 